Hey everyone, so we're getting some questions about uh, redirects when it comes to SEO um, and specifically the examples with a pretty brand new website. So um, what I would do is uh, not utilize a independent redirect um, option, but rather use one that's built into something meant for SEO purposes uh, like Rank Math. Um, one of our most popular blogs last year was this article of Rank Math Rank math versus Yoast, and you know the battle between the two. And uh, long story short, we think rank math uh, is way better than Yoast. Um, and one of the reasons is that it builds in a lot of new uh, technologies and other things you get from other pl uh, plugins in one uh, plugin, their own. And it's like super lean with the code. So uh, what I would recommend is you know utilizing rank math um, when you actually go to their um, their different options within their dashboard. Uh, you got lots of other things here. So, um, you know, there's specific plugins around 404 monitors. There's other ones specific to like image SEO, other ones, you know, specific to all these other things such as indexing and sitemaps and stuff like that. Um, it's all built into one here, which is pretty sweet. Uh, and the other one and the purpose for this video was redirects. So, um, you know, there's tons of plugins for that. This one, um, what we use redirects for within rank math is we activate it first of all. Uh, then it shows up here on the left sidebar for redirections. If you go into the settings for it, uh, you get a few different options here. Uh, one is a debug, debug redirect. Uh, I wouldn't use that one. Don't do that one. Um, it just, it's just looks messy. Uh, and I know it's ad admins only. You don't even need it. Uh, what I would do is this one. This is probably the most useful one is auto post redirect. So auto post redirect just means that if you were to change the title in anything from you know example one to example two, uh, it's going to automatically put the redirect in place. So it's going to do that at a 301 permanent move, which is what we want when it comes to redirects. Um, and you know you can have some fallback behaviors of you know if something doesn't work. Um, or if something's not indexed, you don't want some, somebody to see something, it's private. You can have a fallback of like default to a 404 page, redirect to the homepage, and there's other, you know, custom redirections that you can do within that. But uh, for us, when it comes to this redirects, there's a bunch of ways to do it. One, you can do a massive import export or more like just import uh, and get all your redirections here. Two, you can just add new ones. So if it was like forward slash old is going to go to forward slash new. That's all you need, but you can be super specific about categories. So I'm just going to add that and then it shows up here. So the old is going to go to the new and all done. It's automatically done. You don't have to do it from the hosting level or anything else. It's just, it's in here. It works. Um, now, if you were to update this, it's automatically going to take effect and start logging things for you automatically. And that's really the big benefit is that as long as you have your settings on the permalink of post name, you're good. You just, your titles of your blogs, your titles of your posts, pages, et cetera, um, you can update them and you have your redirects in place. Now, uh, the, the you know other side of this and the other side of the coin is really, uh, you gotta communicate that with Google. So we wanna make sure uh, you, you know, submit your sitemap. Uh, if you do use Rank Math, there is a separate sitemap tab in here uh, that you get your sitemap index here. You're going to want to go submit this to Google search console to make sure they see it. And if you do have, um, you know, specific server type, there might be a little configuration code that you would need to place, but that I can say for another video, this one was all about just utilizing rank math for a lot of SEO uh, services and, uh, specifically to WordPress. And then you can leverage those other benefits like redirects. So I would give that a go. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. Thanks.